It is time now to show you some of this morning's headlines. The Wall Street Journal reports attorneys general from 29 states want tighter regulations on e-cigarettes. In a letter to the Food and Drug Administration, they say imposing limits on advertising as well as banning most of the 7,000 flavors will better protect minors. The letter goes on to say that even though e-cigarettes do not contain tobacco, they do have the same addictive qualities as regular cigarettes. The New York Daily News says it'll cost fans two minutes if they're interested in catching this month's Electric Zoo Music Festival here in New York. That's because on top of the price of admission, attendees will be required to watch a short anti-drug video detailing the dangers of Molly or ecstasy. Two people died from apparent drug overdoses last year, which forced officials to cancel the festival's final day. The Los Angeles Times reports a federal judge is siding with former UCLA basketball star Ed O'Bannon. The landmark ruling allows players to sell their rights to their names, images, and their likeness and receive the money after they leave school. It overturns NCAA regulations banning athletes from receiving anything other than scholarships and the cost of attending school. USA Today reports happy birthday wishes are in order for Smokey the Bear. The friendly, huggable bear with the brimmed hat and shovel has been warning Americans of the dangers of forest fires since 1944. Research shows Smokey ranks near Mickey Mouse and Santa Claus in name recognition. Happy birthday, Smokey. And The Wire reports desserts are flying into North Korea this week. South Korean activists tied thousands of cookie and marshmallow choco pies to giant balloons and sent them into North Korea. Organizers say this launch was designed to remind North Koreans of the outside world and to make a political statement. The pies are banned in North Korea.